Hi everyone, this is Amir from Admix Education. So today I'm going to show you how you can make this bouncing effect. So for that, just let's head up to the After Effect. So first of all, you need to create a composition. So go to Composition, I create new composition, and I'm going to name it as a something like bouncing, bouncing animation. And I'm going to set the size to 920 by 1080 and set the frame to 30 frames per second and for the duration for I'm going to choose 5 seconds and that's enough now hit OK. Now I need a background so for that uh, I'm going to choose solid so go to layer select new and select solid. Now I'm going to name it as a BG background and uh, click OK. Now I want my background something like a scatter so go to effect and preset and search for gradient ramp. So here it is gradient ramp so select this and just drag it right here. And now I'm going to change this shape to linear to radial. Now I'm changing the color to something like a, a dark gray to end color dark black. So I'm going to adjust this. okay now i think my, our background is ready so now i need my text layer so for that go to uh, toolbar and select t here and type in right here something like bounce sorry okay so now what i'm going to do is to align this go to align panel and i'm going to vertically and horizontally align this text in my text there is uh, too much gap go in here and increase the tracking amount to something like 1000 so now what I'm gonna do is uh, I need my ball so go to toolbar and here and select an ellipse tool and uh, make sure that you don't have selected any layer now in this area you have to just uh, draw a circle by pressing ctrl plus shift something like this and now I'm going to change this uh, layer name something like ball now I'm going to just drag it and put this beneath the dex layer and I'm going to align this uh, ball layer too so go to align panel and just align it something like this and drag it right over here so now I'm going to make duplicate of this bounce layer to that we can cover our whole text so for that go to edit and uh, uh, duplicate and uh, we can also use our shortcut key for that duplicate control plus G so I'm going to duplicate the by using uh, short key six times uh, four times sorry so now you can see a uh, six copies of our so go to first, the second layer and select and press shift drag something like this and now do the same thing into the third layer now we have to create our animation so for that go to few frames ahead like I'm going to 10 frames and select all this ball layer and uh, just press P on the keyboard to bring the position properties now we have to uh, click on this stopwatch now you can see our keyframe is generated to every layer just go few frame back or like something one frame I'm going back to one frame drag upside to this layer so you can see it's now completely invisible so now you can see our animation so you can see there's no bouncing effect so for that what we have to do is go to this position properties of this this by pressing alt and right click on together 
click on, on it we can see this expression is generated so in this expression tab we have to type is expression for that i'm going to use my programming script and for the script check out our description below so i'm going to copy this is the script we have to copy into the expression tab so select all this and uh, simply copy this script and now what we have to do go to this expression position and this and then simply we have to paste and now i'm going to show you a ram preview so now you can notice here we have a smooth bouncing effect are generated so now what we have to do do the same thing to all these layers so what i'm going to do is just simply do the same procedure to all these layers by pressing uh, alt and left click on this together i just simply paste this control v and do the same to this layer do the same to this layer now you can see our all balls are bouncing but what i need to do is to make the and bounce randomly for now for that what i'm gonna do is to make them some align them something like uh, make a pattern i'm going to move this keyframe something like this so that's it now see the ramp preview and you can see our balls are bouncing randomly but what i want to do this is to i want my text to be hidden when balls are upside so for that simply select all layers of ball layers or circle layer and just pre-compose pre them by right clicking on it and pre-compose and i'm going to name this as a balls i think and select the move all attribute into the new composition and hit ok now what we have to do is just uh, copy this ball layer by pressing ctrl plus t on the keyboard and i'm gonna name the rename just like something like mat and i'm going to place it above the our text layer something like this now i'm going to uh, change this tracking mat to uh, to the bounce text layer to change the track mat to alpha mat and if you don't see this option so go to and toggle switch modes so it, it will be visible and for that you can also choose our shortcut key f4 change this track mat to alpha mat you can see our animation So now I need my uh, ball to be reflect and reflection or I guess it's shadow. So for that I'm going to duplicate this layer again by Ctrl plus T and I'm going to change this layer to shadow. Shadow, yeah, okay. So bring the opacity and bring down to something like uh, uh, 40%. So you cannot visibly right here so what we have to do is we go select this shadow layer and right click on it and select your transformation and go to flip vertical and now just drag this uh, by selecting the shadow layer and pressing shift and drag this down something like this and you, you can also use your uh, arrow key now i'm bringing down the opacity so I'm going to leave it as something to 40%. Okay, that's right. Now I need to be look something like blurryish for that. Go to effect and presets and search for Gaussian blur. So now select this and just drop it to the shadow layer. Now in the Gaussian blur, increase the blurriness amount to something. Uh, I'm going to choose go with 35% that's look good to me now you can see our smooth bouncing bubbles so that's it 
this is so simple i hope this video helps you you can check out the description for the script and i hope this video helps you guys so make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching